how can this video can work miracles in your life i have seen miracles happen to men and women in all walks of life all over the world miracles will happen to you when you begin using the magic power of your subconscious mind this video is designed to teach you your habitual thinking and imaginary mode fashion and create your destiny for as man as thinker is his subconscious mind so is he do you know the answers for these questions why is one man sad and another man happy why is one man joyous and prosperous and another man poor and miserable why is one man fearful and anxious and another full of faith and confidence why one man have a beautiful luxurious home while another man lives in a slum why is one man a great success and another is a failure why is one speaker outstanding and immensely popular and another is a mediocre and unpopular why is one man a genius in his work or profession while the other man is not not a genius is there an answer to these questions in the workings of your conscious and subconscious minds there most certainly is the power of your mind Go! you have only one mind but your mind possesses two distinctive characteristics the line of demarcation between the two is well known to all thinking men and women today the two functions of your mind are essentially unlike each is endowed with separate and distinct attributes and powers the nomenclature generally used to distinguish the two functions of your mind is as follows the objective and subjective mind the conscious and subconscious mind the waking and sleeping mind the surface self and deep self the voluntary mind and the involuntary mind the male and the female you will find the terms conscious and subconscious used to represent the dual nature of your mind throughout this video the conscious and subconscious minds an excellent way to get acquainted with the two functions of your mind is to look upon your own mind as a garden you are a gardener and you are planting seeds that means thoughts in your subconscious mind all day long based on your habitual thinking, as you plant your subconscious mind you shall reap in your body and environment begin now to plant thoughts of peace happiness right action goodwill and prosperity think quietly and with interest on these qualities and accept them fully in your conscious reasoning mind continue to plant these wonderful plants in the garden of your mind and you will reap a glorious harvest your subconscious mind may be linked to the soil which will grow all kinds of seeds good or bad whatever you plant that you will 
get as a result if you plant good seed you will get a good plant the similarly if you plant a bad seed you will get a bad crop the same way if you have a positive idea you will have a positive impact if you have a negative idea it will have a negative impact the treasure house within you look within for the answers to your heart's desire the great secret possessed by the great men of all ages was their ability to contact and release the powers of their subconscious you can also do the same your subconscious has the answer to all problems if you suggest to your subconscious prior to sleep like i want to get up at 6 am it will awaken you at the exact time your subconscious mind is the builder of your own body and can heal you lull yourself to sleep every night with the idea of perfect health and your subconscious being your faithful servant will obey you every thought is a cause and every condition is an effect if you want to write a book write a wonderful play give a better talk to your audience convey the idea lovingly feelingly to your subconscious mind and it will respond accordingly you are a captain navigating a ship he give the right orders and likewise you must give the right orders that means thoughts and images to your subconscious mind which controls and governs all your experiences never use the terms i can't afford it i can't do this your subconscious mind takes you at your word and sees to it that you do not have the money or ability to do what you want to do affirm chant like i can do all the things through the power of my subconscious mind. the law of life is the law of belief a belief is a thought in our mind do not believe in things to harm or hurt you believe in the power of your subconscious to heal inspire strengthen and prosper you according to your belief is it done unto you change your thoughts and you change your destiny definitely how your own mind works think good and good follows think evil and evil follows you are what you think all day long your subconscious mind does not argue with you it accepts what your conscious mind says if you say i can't afford it it will accept it may be true but do not say it select the better thought always say always i'll buy it i'll do it like this i accept it in my mind. always be positive you have the power to choose choose health and happiness you can choose to be friendly or you can choose to be unfriendly choose to be cooperative joyous friendly lovable and the whole world will respond this is the best way to develop a wonderful personality your conscious mind 
is like a watchman at the gate its chief function is to protect you and your subconscious mind from false impressions choose to believe that something good can happen and happening now your greatest power is your capacity to choose choose happiness and abundance the suggestions and statements of others have no power to hurt you the only power is the movement of your own thought you can choose to reject the thoughts or statements of others and affirm the good you have the power to choose how you react watch what you say you have to account for every ideal word never say like i will fail i will lose my job i can't do this i can't pay the rent your subconscious cannot take this as a joke it brings all these things to pass your mind is not an evil no force of nature is evil it depends how you use the power of nature use your mind to bless heal and inspire all people everywhere never say like i can't overcome the fear by substituting the following i can do all things through the power of my own subconscious begin to think from the standpoint of eternal truths and principles of life and not from the standpoint of fear ignorance and superstition do not let others do your thinking for you choose your own thoughts and make your own decisions you are the captain of your soul you are the captain of your subconscious mind and the master of your fate remember you have the capacity to choose choose life choose love choose health choose happiness whatever your conscious mind assumes and believes to be true your subconscious mind will accept and bring to pass believe in good fortune divine guidance right action and all the blessings of life the miracle working power of your subconscious your subconscious mind controls all the vital processes of your body and knows the answer to all problems prayer to sleep turn over a specific request to your subconscious mind and prove its miracle working power to yourself whatever you impress on your subconscious mind is expressed on the screen of the space as conditions experiences and events therefore you should carefully watch all ideas and thoughts entertained in your conscious mind the law of action and reaction is universal your thought is action and the reaction is automatic response of your subconscious mind to your thought watch your thoughts all frustration is due to unfilled desires if you dwell on obstacles delays and difficulties your subconscious mind responds accordingly and you are blocking your own good the life principle will flow through you rhythmically and harmoniously if you consciously affirm i believe that the subconscious power which gave me this desire is now fulfilling it through me this dissolves all conflicts 
you can interfere with the normal rhythm of your heart lungs and other organs by worry anxiety and fear feed your subconscious with thoughts of harmony health and peace all the functions of your body will become normal again keep your conscious mind busy with expectations of the best and your subconscious will faithfully reproduce your habitual thinking imagine the happy ending or solution to your problem feel the thrill of accomplishment and what you imagine and feel will be accepted by your subconscious mind and it will happen to you thanks